Okay, I'm going to try, try making another video here. Here's a student artwork. And we're going to go over and see how I can touch it up quickly uh, to make it more presentable. Uh, basically, I like to point out the positive aspects of the whole thing. That is, we have a darker sky, and it gets lighter as you get lower. We're going from cool to warm. We've got three main features, so it's very simple. Lake, tree, a sun. I think there were some mountains that got uh, blended away. Anyway, I'm I usually start off by here's my linseed oil and turpentine mix here and a little bit of white oil paint. And we just put a white wash over the sky. That's the way I like to do it. And uh, to make the sky lighter, make the landscape stand out more distinctly. And then I'm going to put, lighten up the water, which should reflect what is around it. So some of the sky, the grass, the mountains will be in that water. And I want it about as light now. Things in the background are more gray have more contrast and saturation of color as you move forward. But that'll be our last step. Now I like to um, work very broadly with a big brush to establish the design or the layout of the composition, which needs to be simple or else it will detract. Uh, so, I'm going to put a few highlights of white here, but very broad. I want things in bands, so establish a rhythm. Rhythm, balance, harmony are the key elements of beauty. And that you want to establish all uh, with a large brush and think about it. Uh, how you want to do a, solve this problem. Hey, putting a sun up in the sky is a little trite, but you know, if that's what's in the soul of somebody that they want to express, very meaningful to me and important. I don't I don't want to when I'm doing this eliminate the expression of the soul of that artist. I just want to amplify it and make it more clear and understandable to viewers. Art is a method of communication more than anything. So, uh, what was what was being communicated here? Question you ask is that is the goal of everything, every other element of art. So I've got some basic uh, balance in tones established. One of the simple first things that I do is look for lines to emphasize, make the picture more clear. So there's no one answer. This is just my own artistic license. I'm going to Establish some horizon lines here. Maybe there's some grass here. Now, when you've got a pond, the edge across the back will be flatter or straighter than across the front because it's farther away and everything becomes smaller. And so, more or less, you want your edges on the side pointing back to some vanishing point at the horizon and you want the back end to be a little more straight than the front end. That's just because of the perspective of things getting smaller as they get farther away. I'm going to outline that will all that gives the brain of the viewer cues of perspective and distance and depth. Now, I'm going to, as I said, things that are far away get very faint. 
but this sort of a dark line, so I'm going to brush it out. But I sort of picked out a distant part for a mountain range. Right here, we got a tree that's sort of bent, but hey, as far as I'm concerned, to maintain those elements of art, a bent tree is fine. It doesn't need to be straight. And I want to preserve that because that's part of the, oh, handwriting. It's like a handwriting or a signature, but it's this uh, artistic handwriting of that individual. So I don't want to alter his signature. Make it more clear. So add a little yellow. I like to go from blue to red to yellow. And in this distant mountain, I'm going to now go back to pick up a little blue paint, mix it with the white, and I'm going to go over that a little bit, a little darker than I hoped it would come out, but I'm going to go ahead and just, let's say in three places, brush down over the painting and spread it out to create my mountain. And do the same thing over here. I'm going to add a little yellow to bring it forward. As we get the warmer colors forward, it's mixing with the blue to create green. So we've got our nice green, greenish mountains here. A little red, which mixes in, gives it a brown color. We'll get a little transition of color as we're going across the painting and going down the painting to add interest. I don't like to use the same color throughout the whole thing. Let's, uh, let's paint in our little bit of green here for the grass. Go. You know, I prefer doing uh, adding a little color to the the grass. Let's do a little hill over here. Make a little more perspective with it, and um, let's brush that in a little bit and let define this few little blacks in there very minimal black and just to put a little skeleton to the overall picture as the brush goes across the painting it runs out of paint and I'm going to just flip this up for some vegetation brush it down some quick strokes there we go